guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today and I'm honestly just gonna jump right in. Um, the one thing that I'm just focusing on is doing my foundation with highlight and with contour. I am going to make everything a little bit more dramatic just, you know, for the fun of it because what fun would it be if we had a natural, you know, no mirror makeup challenge. I think that it's not worth it. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump in. Right now I can see myself just because I wanted to make sure that I had all my foundation off. I literally have nothing on right now. I have my eyeshadow on and my eyes. Um, and then that can maybe be another video. Sorry, I think that was my dog. Um, so I think that that can be a separate video, but we're just gonna go ahead and jump in and get started. And I have all my products with me because I literally just, literally got in the door and I have my kit right here with me. So I'm just gonna dig right in. A couple things that I did grab just to um, add is I figured this would be really fun. I rarely use my um, spray blush, so I think this will be fun. And then I wanted to, oh, I just got foundation all over my leg. Um, I grabbed my foundation color because I didn't have it um, in my bag. I grabbed a brighter highlight for a concealer and then um, most of these items I usually don't reach for on a regular basis. I just wanted them to be either more dramatic for you guys or just for shits and giggles. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and rotate that camera so it's not facing me anymore and we're just gonna jump right in. Oh, this feels weird. I feel like, I don't know, it feels weird. Okay. So first things first, I already um, wiped all my skin off, or yeah, wiped all of my foundation off with a makeup remover. I did use these guys. I was using the Clinique ones forever, which I absolutely love, and I got the Neutrogena ones because I really like their little container and the fact that you can just refill little um, makeup wipes in here. And actually for $5 or $6, I feel like I like these more than the Clinique ones, honestly. Um, we'll, see. Oh, we'll see how I feel a little bit later. Um, but let's go ahead and just jump right in. I'm going to check one more time that it's recording. Bear with me. Sorry. Okay. We're good. We're golden. Okay. First things first, we're going to go ahead and start with, we're going to pretend I moisturize just because I'm definitely not going to be leaving this on, but I'm going to, going to go ahead and start with the reveal, reveal concentrated color correcting drops. If I am talking a tad bit fast, it's because I'm on my third cup of coffee and the last cup was actually Phil's coffee. So if you've had it, you know that it's very strong. So I'm just gonna take one little drop. And this I actually do use on a regular basis. I absolutely love these. I love that they're really thin and you just pop them over areas that are a little bit darker and it just blends right in to your skin, especially in this area. We don't want it to be cakey with like a really thick corrector and this is really light. So I just pop this guy right in here. By the way, if I look exhausted, I only slept three hours. So that's probably why. And I went straight to San Francisco and did makeup there and then just drove back and just got home. So three cups of coffee and three hours of sleep. That's what it looks like. If I keep looking out the window, it's because there's a lot of people standing there. <laughs> um, but oh well, okay. That's good. Um, right here, I'm super dry, um, but normally I feel like I have a little bit of a shadow there too, so I'm just gonna hop that in. Okay, got it. So, I usually do wear primer, but one thing that I wanna share with you guys is anytime I wear the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation from NARS, I never wear primer. Um, I feel like it just sticks better to my skin. I'm also very oily combination and acne prone, so. Um, I never prime and you always want to play with your hands. So wish me luck. So I'm just going to warm it up <laughs> and it might be a little bit lighter because I was self tanning like a lot this week. So if it looks lighter, sorry, this is really weird. I've never done this before. This is what people feel like when they do their makeup in their car, like completely clueless. I feel like people look in the mirror, like in the rear view, but this is just really weird. So I think I'm gonna do a lip color too. And let's call this like our Valentine's Day inspired look. I'm scared to go around my eyebrows. I feel like I'm just gonna mess it up. Hopefully it's good. Does it look good? <laughs> I 
Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, okay. I feel good. I feel good. I feel like it's well blended, right? Should I add more? Probably not. Okay, feels good. I think I'm good. I think I'm golden. Okay, on to the next. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my concealer. So this one is a Better Skin um, Maybelline concealer. I actually got this just because I have a lot of younger teeny boppers that say they use this and then I convert them to the NARS concealer. So I wanted to try it and I don't like it. I like the formula. I think it feels really lightweight, but, and I'm, I'm, this is the way that they do it too, by the way. This is not what I recommend. I'm just doing this for fun. But, um, so they always use it and they always talk about it and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to try it just so I know, you know, I can speak to it. Um, but yeah. I lost my train of thought because I'm really trying to focus on what's happening. And if I get this concealer on my lashes, I'm going to be really mad. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I have a, like a lot on. Um, I think I brought a brush. This one I usually set my powder with, but I think I'm just going to go in there. I hope I applied enough. I'm not sure. Once I started talking, I kind of forgot how much I was applying. Okay, so we got our concealer, hopefully looking good. Hopefully I'm blended. Okay, I think that's it. I really want to grab a mirror, but I won't. Um, okay, cool. So now what's the next step? Should I do more concealer? I don't know. I kind of feel like it. Let's just do a little bit like here and here. How's that? Oh, not in my mouth. Okay, in there. Just, just makes me feel better. Okay, blending in. Not enough. This is actually makes time go by a lot faster. Cause you kind of just assume that it's done, you know, you're not paying attention to detail whatsoever. It's kind of nice. And I feel like my posture is like way better. Okay. Next I'm going to get my little bag out. And so I always use like different setting powders. It really just depends. So because I want it to be really dramatic, I'm actually not even going to set yet but I am going to spray. I feel like my skin's super dry right now, even though this absorbs oil. I just feel like this always kind of gives me a little boost of hydration. Um, and then I usually do it before, during, and after makeup to really lock it in. Um, sorry guys. Um, oh, there's a mirror in here, so I'm not going to look at it, but I am going to grab the color. I think it's the yellow. Yeah. This is really hard. I'm going to grab the yellow because I really want to make my under eyes pop. Okay. I love this palette, by the way. Like this palette is so bomb. And then I do things like this where I just like waste it, but it's fun. That's the fun of makeup, right? <laughs> okay. I feel good. Does it look good? I hope. I'm going to just do a little bit here. A little bit here. Good. And then I'm gonna take this lighter one and I'm really just gonna highlight the heck out of my cheekbone. We're still gonna go in with the shimmer, don't you worry. We're doing both today. Okay, cool. All right, so now that I've got all this situated and got my highlight under my eye going strong, 
I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever um, uh, Super Matte Loose Powder because I'm very oily. And I am going to grab a big fluffy brush. Sorry, my husband's calling and I'm gonna ignore it. Um, oh my God, by the way, I got this at a thrift store and I used it for the first time today. I've had it for like a year and I left it in the back of my car. And it's so convenient, let me show you. Hold on. Okay, really quick. I used it today and it was just like so easy and ow. so easy to work with and you just roll it out you can just leave it on the table it's nice and like <gasps> there's i already got foundation on it sorry so you roll it out and then it has this little cover to protect the brushes and then you kind of pull it back and then you can lay them out i thought this was so cute and there's no brand name on it otherwise i would totally tell you guys but it's so cute and I think I got it for like a dollar and I was like, what, score. Okay, so back to where we were. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Super Matte Powder and Loose. This one, I actually mixed a little bit of Ben Nye in it because my Ben Nye was like almost empty so I kind of mixed it in there. So I am just gonna put a little bit in the lid and when I say little, like I put it on the brush, dabble into the lid and then I'm just gonna press. Again, any of this makeup application is really not what I would normally recommend in real life. So this is just kind of for fun or it is for fun. It's not kind of for fun. So please don't like really pay attention to any of this. I just want to see like my skill and see if I can do it. And you guys should try it too because you will save a lot of time. I should have timed it. That's what I should have done. Okay, on to the next. Now for the contour. So I don't have my contour brush, or do I? Sorry, guys, it should have been way better planned. Everything's right here. It's just like a hot mess. So, ooh, I almost looked. I didn't look, though. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take dun, 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 the darkest one, and I'm just going to get in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like because my cheek is right there, I should be right on the spot, on the money right there. Feel it. Ooh, I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm not looking. So I'm going to go ahead and grab more. This is what I, how I used to teach people how to contour when like kind of they were newer to it because some people don't know how and that's fine but if this is a nice cheat actually going from the top of your ear coming down or the center of your ear depending on how long your face is you can just do that am i cheating i feel like is this cheating i don't think so because i'm still not looking in the mirror but hopefully it's working okay I've never done this, but I'm just going to try because I don't want to make my nose really dark. Okay. Okay. That's awkward. <laughs> okay. I feel good about that. I feel like that was good. Okay. That was contour. Now I'm going to jump into bronze. So we're going to bronze it up. Pretend like we just went to the Bahamas. We got our glow going on. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know why my hand was up there. Oh, I was holding my bangs back. Okay, am I bronzed enough? I hope so. Is it? I hope it's even. All right, cool. I feel. I feel like I'm bronzed, okay. On to the next. I'm gonna go ahead and take my spray blush, um, which I just had as well. Oh my God. So this was actually my most pink one. So this one is called Pink of Perfection. I don't even know if Sephora makes these anymore. I feel like if they didn't, that would make me really sad because these are awesome. And I think at the time when I worked there, they were like $15, so I don't know if they're more now. But all right, let's just do it. I know that they're very sheer. So we'll see. 
Okay, and it's waterproof. Oh! That smells like spray paint. All right. Cover that zit up. Even? Am I even? Ooh. I think the room's smoky. Okay. Ooh, I got it in my mouth. Okay, I think I'm good. I'm gonna take this brush and blend it in. Ooh, the brush is wet now. Oh, wow. Do I have a lot on? Okay. Ta-da! Almost done. Not done. I need my lip and then I need my highlight. So, I bought this guy for my kit. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it's just, um, it's very uh, glowy, obviously. It's not bad, but it's not great. I would say, I, mm, it's probably like a five in my opinion. Yeah, like a five. I don't know what it is. I think it's the, sli the slickness of it that I'm not into, um, but the colors I really like. So I think for a nice good highlight, we're gonna use this guy. Um, so I'm just gonna pop this guy on like I normally would. Little bit here. Gonna get these cheeks. All right, wish me luck. This feels normal. Oh my God, there's a ladybug right here. Isn't that good luck? Maybe it's like a sign of like, I this is gonna come out good. Maybe. Okay, I think it's enough. Am I glowing? Okay, did I do my bridge already? Okay. A little bit on the arches. How do I look? Should we add? No, I don't feel like we should add anymore. Okay, complexion's done. Cool. All right, now for the lip. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go light on you guys. I'm gonna make it a big deal. Ooh, should I lip line? I should lip line. Let's line those lips. Is that even a question? So I got a pencil box, by the way. I got a pencil box, like a regular pencil box, and I got little tags, and I just put lip liner, so it's super easy to find my lip liners in my kit. It's one of the most genius things I've ever done. Um, and made my life so much easier when I'm doing weddings and stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna take Ulta's Beat. Um, I'm going to sharpen this guy really quick. Okay. All right. Hope I didn't mess up already. Line it. Ooh, my lips are dry. I feel like I always mess up here, even if I am looking, so this is... Probably way worse. I always say do the awkward smile. Oh yeah, that was pretty bad. Okay. I feel good. I feel good about that. I feel really confident actually. And instead of doing your traditional lipstick, I'm just gonna go in with my lip palette. I'm not, I'm not taking it easy on myself. I'm really, you know, trying. By the way, I just added this guy to my kit as well. This is the brush folio. There's clearly nothing in it because all of them are dirty from doing makeup literally a couple hours ago. But this guy's pretty nifty. Um, you can just use this guy to scrunch it and then stand it up where you need it. 
kind of like that. Um, and then you can close it like this and then close it completely and Velcro it. But I like having it open and it kind of didn't fully close this way. So that's not, that's not cool. But anywho, um, I'm gonna, oh shoot, sorry. Back to what I was doing. All right, I can't find a lip brush. I think I already used it. So I'm gonna take um, this pink in here. I shouldn't have used my finger. Whoops. All right, I'm going in. Just like that. This one is, I feel like I'm gonna guess. I feel like from the formula, this might be a Bite Beauty lipstick. Let's see. <gasps> it's the only one I have without a sticker on it. Wow. Yes. Usually I can tell from the smell. But there's no, dang it. Almost every single color in here is either Bite Beauty or Marc Jacobs because I love both of them. All right, done. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the mirror after I wipe off my hand, if I can find a napkin. Oh, I'm a real hot mess right now and I can't find anything. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna grab a mirror if I can find one. Okay, found one, okay. All right, grand finale. See? Oh, wow. Oh, hello highlight. Oh, this lipstick. That's bad, you guys. I was feeling like super confident about this. Oh my God. All right. Well, hopefully I look a lot thinner because I feel like my, no my nose came out pretty good though. This is like what, I'm gonna say it. I was gonna say Khloe Kardashian sometimes, like when she's at a game, I feel like her nose looks this contoured. No hate, I love her, but sometimes, I don't know about you guys, but anyways, this is insane, but I'm so glad that I did it. <laughs> I really thought I was gonna do really well at this, but apparently not. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I sure did. Um, it was really different and it was really, um, I don't know, it was just like, it made me feel like I was, I don't know, like I was doing a really great job. I'm gonna bring this back up. I felt like I was doing a really great job, but apparently I wasn't. Look at that highlight, my goodness, crazy. But I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys wanna see more funky videos like this, let me know. Otherwise, I can go back to my regular ways, or if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and comment, comment down below. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a laugh out of it, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.